Thank you all for, for being here for a few minutes today. The issue with Title 42 is something that Tennesseans are beginning to realize the impact of very quickly. In Tennessee, our governor received information that in order to mitigate the situation at the southern border, that ICE is going to begin to move single adults who are awaiting their hearing from the New Orleans office to Tennessee, 50 per busload, and at least two busloads every week. Now, what is so interesting to me about this is Title 42 is there for a reason. The Biden administration knows this. And they don't want it to go away right now. They're saying, if you're going to get rid of it, and we would like to get rid of it, but we don't want you to do that before Christmas. So hang on just a minute. Hang on. And let's get back past Christmas, and then we want to take Title 42 away. The estimate is this. When they take it away, they're going to have 15,000 people coming to that border every single day. And they know that they've created this situation at the southern border that they cannot contain. And the border communities are saying, you got to do something. You're overrunning us. And it doesn't matter if those mayors of those cities and towns and counties are Republican or Democrat. They're saying, federal government, you have to do something about this. So the Biden administration comes up with a plan. Let's make every town a border town. Let's make every state a border state. And let's take those that are illegally entering and let's shift them to other communities. And by the way, that means those states, those cities, their taxpayers are going to have to bear the cost for social services, health services, education, housing, food, for those that are coming in the country illegally. Because the people that are coming across the border, the two million, these are individuals that have been abused. As I've been to the border for years now, one of the things that we know is this, that women and children are being physically and sexually abused. We know, we know that the cartels are running that border on the Mexico side. These cartels are so emboldened, they're now operating on U.S. soil. When you talk to local law enforcement, they will tell you where the cartel hubs are working from, where the drugs are coming from that are coming into their community. And moms and dads and brothers and sisters in our communities have all experienced the impact of fentanyl in our communities, the lives that have been lost, the families that have been wrecked because of the drugs that are coming across that southern border. We are doing everything we can to make certain that Title 42 stays in place. It is needed. Our Border Patrol need to know that members of the U.S. Senate are going to stand with them to make certain that they have what they need to, first of all, secure that border, and then secondly, to be sure that we mitigate the issues that are being caused at that southern border. And it is unseemly that we have a spending bill that would have money for other nations to secure their border. But then the money in the spending bill that is there for Border Patrol says they cannot use it on border security.